Hello, my name is James, and today we're going to be talking about the nasopharyngeal airway. That's one of these tubes. Really essential that you understand how this works, because it can be of vital importance if you're managing a patient who has difficulties with their airway. I'm going to explain a bit about it, a bit about the indications for using it, and then I'm going to demonstrate on a model how we put it in. So this is the nasopharyngeal airway. It's essentially a tube that goes from the outside of the nose, this flange, sits next to the nostril and then the tube goes through the nasal airway and the bevel at the bottom here sits just at the back of the oropharynx. Let's talk about the indications for a nasopharyngeal airway. It's a really helpful airway for those patients who aren't fully unconscious. It tends to be a lot better tolerated by people who are in that grey zone where they're coming round from an anaesthetic or maybe they're obtundus due to alcohol or other drugs. And if we try and put an oropharyngeal airway in, we may just cause them to gag or vomit. It's helpful in someone who's having a seizure, where they may well be clenching their jaw, or other forms of trismus, where the masseter muscle goes into spasm, meaning it's very difficult for us to be able to open someone's mouth. Also, if someone has significant maxillofacial injuries, obscuring the airway, a nasopharyngeal airway can be used in those circumstances too. Base of skull fracture is a relative contraindication to inserting a nasopharyngeal airway. This is due to the small but potentially life-threatening complication of the airway going into the cranial vault. This risk must be balanced against the need to protect the patient's airway. There are several different sizes of nasopharyngeal tubes. For example, here are two. This one, a slightly smaller one, is a size 6, and this one is a size 8. There's no reliable way of sizing the right tube for the right patient, but it's a matter of looking at the patient's nostril and seeing which size you're likely to get in. In general, you want to make sure that the tube goes in easily without causing extra pressure around the skin of the nostril. Most adults will be fine with a size six or a size seven. Once the nasopharyngeal airway is in position, it's gonna sit roughly like this, with the flange at the nostril, the first part of the tube going along the floor of the nasal cavity and then gently curving around so the tip is sitting in the back of the oropharynx. Standing in this position, I'm in a good position to be able to see everything that I need to see. Got some lubricant on the outside to help. And then with my non-dominant hand, I'm just going to pull the nose slightly back so I can see which nostril is largest. In general, we go for the right nostril first, but it's important you have a look to make sure there's no deviated septum or large inferior turbinates that may hamper you putting this in. Then we're going to gently insert the tip into the nostril and I'm heading downwards, gently twizzling the tube, letting it gently seat itself in. I'm going to keep pushing, gently twizzling until the flange sits comfortably on the outside of the nostril. You can see in the side cut where the tip of the tube is. So if the tube was too long, potentially the patient may start gagging or coughing, in which case you'd remove the tube and replace it for a smaller size. Once the nasopharyngeal airway is in, it's important clearly to reassess the patient and make sure they have a patent airway and this is allowing them to ventilate. You may, even with this in, still need to do some simple airway opening manoeuvres to help support their airway. And also once it is in, you may need to support the patient by giving them extra oxygen. When it comes to removing these, because they're so well tolerated, the patient may well be sat up and talking and be able to take it out themselves. If they are unable to or they want you to do it, it's literally a question of just pulling on the flange and it will come out very easily.